Our star system appears to be a calm and stable place. Yes, there are times when the gas giants occasionally nudge a comet or asteroid out of its orbit, sometimes even sending it hurtling toward Earth. But overall, things have been generally stable. The Milky Way, however, is estimated to contain around 200 to 400 billion stars, with our solar system orbiting through the galaxy. While the distances between stars are vast, in this ocean of celestial fireballs, the chances of them coming close to each other cannot be entirely ruled out. Around 75% of the stars in our galaxy are red dwarfs, typically having around 8% to 40% of the sun's mass. The Milky Way itself spans an area stretching about 100,000 light-years across, with a central bulge roughly 5,000 to 8,000 light-years in radius. When calculating how often stars come close to our sun, scientists consider factors like the density of stars in different parts of the galaxy, their orbits, and how fast they move relative to one another. On average, stars travel at around 20 kilometers per second relative to the sun. Using this data, scientists can estimate how often stars pass near the solar system, potentially affecting our cosmic neighborhood. Calculations suggest that the closest a star has likely come to the sun was about 500 astronomical units, roughly 10 times the distance from the sun to Pluto. Such close encounters are rare, occurring once every few hundred thousand years. Even rarer are encounters within 1,500 astronomical units, which happen roughly once every billion years. So it's highly unlikely that a passing star will disrupt the orbits of planets in our solar system. But while encounters with stars don't often directly impact planets, they may disturb the Oort cloud, a distant region of icy bodies surrounding our solar system. Gravitational interactions between passing stars and the Oort cloud are always happening, though their effects may not be visible for millions of years. Over time, passing stars can send these icy objects hurtling toward the inner solar system, increasing the chance of cometary impacts. The last known star to pass close to the Sun was Schultz's star, which came near us about 70,000 years ago. However, New research suggests that a star may have come closer to Earth than the Voyager probes. The New Horizons spacecraft has made a fascinating discovery at the edge of the solar system. Our solar system may have had an incredibly close encounter with another passing star. Not one but two recent studies propose that a stellar flyby could account for the strange orbits of certain objects on the outskirts of our solar system, as well as some unusual moons orbiting nearby planets. This encounter, according to the research, was astonishingly close. A rogue star passed within 110 astronomical units of the Sun, meaning it came 110 times the distance from the Sun to Earth. To give some context, this star would have approached us even closer than the Voyager 1 probe, which, after being launched in 1971, is now 164 astronomical units away on its journey beyond the solar system. Considering that the nearest star to us today, Proxima Centauri, is more than four light years away. This was an incredibly close call. Such a near miss, researchers suggest, would be necessary to explain the unusual and chaotic orbits of celestial objects located in the farthest regions of our solar system, beyond Neptune's orbit. To investigate whether a passing star's gravity could be responsible for the unusual orbits of some trans-Neptunian objects, scientists ran over 3,000 computer simulations. Their findings not only confirmed the hypothesis, but revealed something fascinating. The simulations showed that this stellar encounter could explain two of the most peculiar trans-Neptunian objects, which have retrograde orbits, meaning they move in the opposite direction of the planets. It could also account for the distant dwarf planet Sedna, which orbits as far as 937 astronomical units from the Sun. A co-author and astrophysicist, noted that the simulations pointed to a star slightly smaller than our sun, about 0.8 solar masses, that passed within a little less than four times the distance from the sun to Neptune. Interestingly, this event could also explain the strange moons in our solar system, such as Saturn's moon Phoebe, which has a retrograde and distant orbit. Similarly, Jupiter and Neptune host several irregular moons that could have been trans-Neptunian objects displaced by the gravitational influence of this stellar flyby. This could explain why the outer planets have two distinct types of moons, regular moons, which formed along with the planets and have stable, predictable orbits, and irregular moons, which have strange or retrograde orbits, 
and may have been captured from the outer solar system. If this star had a close encounter with our solar system billions of years ago, it could be a remarkable chapter that has been overlooked. What do you think? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Meanwhile, we've found something strange at the edge of the solar system. Launched in 2006, NASA's New Horizons is one of the fastest spacecraft ever built, blazing through space at over 36,000 miles per hour. Its primary mission was to explore Pluto, a once mysterious icy world lurking in the dim outskirts of the solar system, over 3 billion miles from the Sun. In 2015, New Horizons made its historic flyby of Pluto, unveiling a landscape that looked like something out of science fiction, with towering ice mountains, plains of frozen nitrogen stretching for hundreds of miles, and glaciers that seemed to flow like rivers. But New Horizons didn't stop at Pluto. The spacecraft pushed onward into the eerie and largely unexplored Kuiper Belt, a colossal ring of frozen bodies and ancient debris that circles the sun beyond Neptune. This vast region, spanning a staggering two billion miles, is a frozen graveyard of the solar system's formation, littered with icy rocks, dwarf planets, and comets preserved in a deep freeze for billions of years. In 2019, New Horizons performed the most distant flyby in history, zipping past Arrokoth, an oddly shaped object resembling a flattened snowman. This strange red Kuiper Belt object, KBO, formed from two smaller bodies that gently merged, gave scientists a direct glimpse into the building blocks of planets. Today, over 5 billion miles from its home planet, New Horizons is still sending data back, transmitting faint signals that take over six hours to reach Earth. But the spacecraft's work is far from over as it heads out deeper into the solar system, currently at 60 astronomical units from the Sun. One astronomical unit is equal to 93 million miles, the average distance between the Earth and the Sun. At a distance of 60 astronomical units from the Sun, the New Horizons spacecraft has made a groundbreaking discovery, revealing something unexpected in the distant reaches of the solar system. The vast distance of the Kuiper Belt from the Sun means that anything within it is minimally affected by solar radiation. This, in turn, means that Kuiper Belt objects likely have remained largely unchanged since the formation of the solar system around 4.6 billion years ago. This makes the KBO's ancient remnants of the cloud of material, known as the Solar Nebula, from which the Sun and planets formed. To support New Horizons' ongoing exploration at the edge of the solar system, astronomers on Earth have been conducting observations of the Kuiper Belt using the National Astronomical Observatory of Japan's Subaru Telescope. To date, Subaru's observations have revealed 263 new Kuiper Belt objects. However, in a plot twist, a large international team of astronomers, led by Wesley Fraser of the National Research Council of Canada, has found objects much farther away, challenging our planetary models. Yes, hints of a hidden structure have been detected at the edge of the solar system. Observations showed that 11 of these objects are located well beyond where we thought the Kuiper Belt ended, in a region over 70 astronomical units from the Sun. But that's not even the craziest part. Based on the number of these objects found, researchers have estimated the density of the outer Kuiper Belt ring. They found that while it's lower than the inner regions, it's still dense enough to have formed a new structure. And between the Kuiper Belt and the newfound structure, there's a region where almost nothing has been found, a mysterious gap. Is it really mysterious, though? While it might seem strange, such gaps are common in other forming planetary systems, aligning our solar system with what we've observed elsewhere in the galaxy. Many observations of the Milky Way suggest that our solar system is quite unique, as it's the only known planetary system with life. These unusual features might play a key role in making the solar system habitable. But if the discovery of this structure is confirmed with more observations, it could suggest that our star system isn't that unique after all. Our solar system's Kuiper Belt has long appeared small compared to many other planetary systems. So, maybe if this result is confirmed, our Kuiper Belt isn't all that small and unusual after all, compared to those around other stars. Yes, our space observation technology has its limitations, which can lead to biases that make certain features seem unusual when they might not be. If the new Kuiper Belt findings are confirmed, we can rule out one of these supposed oddities, 
a smaller-than-expected solar nebula. It could also be the beginning of a new way of thinking about planetary systems. Now it's time to subscribe.